On today's Pick of the Litter, sponsored by Best Mattress, we have a lot to chat about with Amy Clatterbuck from Hearts Alive Rescue, not least of all the gorgeous alpine she has with her. <laughs> yeah, there's also an as yet undiagnosed illness that has hit the dog community nationwide and continues to baffle professionals. But before that, let's hear more about this pretty husky right here with the incredible eyes and someone who just seems to want to play with Jessica and I right now. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. This is, this is our gorgeous Alpine. She's just under three years old. Uh, she came into the shelters a, as a stray. Um, the, this third quarter is showing us that 50% of the animals entering shelters are coming in as strays. So okay. she is one of those. But she is, um, she's great in playgroup. She's kind of a socialite. Um, she's a little dainty with play, a lot of play bowing, and likes to run around. But um, she likes the rough and rowdy crew as well, too. So. What's any, her, any dog her size? What would be her ideal home? She, uh, she'd be great with kids, just because she loves the romp and play. Um, definitely some exercise. We went on a nice hike this morning, and just to tire her out a little bit. And uh, now she wants to. She wants play to with remind everyone that best yeah. mattress. She's like, I'm playful, see? You know, if you adopt her from the segment, you get, you get this. Uh, They're the comfortable and tasty, for yeah. sure. Um, I would say dogs her size, um, and then, of course, a meet and greet would always be okay. allowed to be done. Uh, if, if anyone's interested in reaching out, wants to adopt her, wants to find out more information, what's the best way to get in contact with you guys? If you go to www.heartsalivevillage.org, you can click on her picture and then fill out an interest application, and that's when we start the process to uh, reach out to you for a meet and greet. Okay. Now, yeah, do you want to? Yeah, and so, I mean, you know, Elliot, you've mentioned it a lot, too. There's mm -hmm. this sort of upper respiratory disease sort of going around right now. Yeah, really emerging. What do we know so far? Um, not much. We have veterinary professionals that are collecting data. You know, it's there's a lot of mysteries uh, surrounding this, this canine uh, infection respiratory disease. Uh, they're not sure if it's viral or bacterial. Um, it could be a variant of the kennel cough or the canine flu or something novel. <laughs> but um, I think veterinarians are treating things uh, symptomatically and then addressing secondary infections if they, if they occur. So, so th I'm sure there are still a bunch of people out there who aren't aware of it. This may be the first time some of our viewers have even heard about it. Uh, like you said, the, the professionals are baffled, vets are trying to figure out how to treat it. What are the best ways people can protect themselves, protect their dogs right now to, to lessen the risk? And also, what are you guys doing at the rescue to make sure that dogs are in First and care foremost, I think that, um, that everybody should keep their, their animals up to date on vaccines. Mm -hmm. I know that we are uh, starting to do the, come here, baby. Oh, we're starting to do the, here, maybe you can yeah. taste her with some treats. Come, treats. Come, 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 come. come here, honey. Uh, we're doing, uh, adding the canine influenza vaccine as one of our core vaccines. Yeah. Normally, it's not part of the repertoire, but we don't want them to get this, you know, this new emerging respiratory illness on top of in conjunction with the the canine flu so uh, we're taking those precautions I think people at home pet owners of course up to date with the vaccines add that canine flu vaccine and stay out of places like dog parks communal areas you where, know anytime yeah. there's a large population of, of animals that's where illness can can you know rise I uh, dog parks can be a breeding ground for illness and um, injury so we don't test we don't check for vaccines at the door Right. Of, a, of a dog park so they can just you know be there you know making everybody sick with the kindergarten cough or whatever you want to call it okay. so yeah. Now yeah you mentioned you know there's a lot more strays coming in you're seeing that so what can we do as a community to sort of help with what's going on right now well we have a an RTO department return to owner department with Hearts Alive Village that we work closely with uh, finders that you know find the animals they're driving to work and they get an animal um, our municipal shelter is kind of on a, a couple of weeks hold as far as taking in strays and animal control is really busy, animal protection I should say. Um, if you find an animal, first thing to do is take them and check them for a microchip. Any vet, PetSmart, mm -hmm. it's free, no cost to you. Uh, if, they are, if they are microchipped, make sure they, that vet gives you that microchip number and shoot it our way to info at heartsalivevillage.org. We will knock on doors. We, will, we have programs that search for up-to-date information if that phone number is out of service. And like I said, I'm not afraid to knock on a door to get your baby right. home to you. So. And I think there's a misconception sometimes as well that uh, an animal care and control in the community will, will grapple strays and just hide them from people. They want to reunite them with the owner because they're yes. already overflowing with, with other strays and other animals, Absolutely. so they want to get these dogs back. So if we in the community can take that time just to check off some boxes of you know go on social media um, the the microchip is the is the huge is the biggest part and so if you're a pet owner microchip your animal and make sure that you keep your phone number and address up to date so I can get your baby home to you well, great Amy, thank you so yeah. much for joining yeah. us this morning and bringing Alpine in to adopt Alpine donate or learn more about volunteering be sure to visit heartsalivevillage.org and if you adopt her from watching this segment you'll receive a free dog bed from best mattress but please Adopt Alpine, she's incredible.